Hello all, how you doing? This here is a uh, GI mechanic. Um, I'm going to show you uh, one of the projects that I had started after the first of the year. It is a semi truck. It is a Kenworth W900 Aerodyne. Um, this is an older model. It's part of the historic series. Um, I have a CDL and used to drive truck. Um, I did actually drive a Kenworth not a W900, but it was a T800 dump truck and then another T800 tractor that I used to all cement tackle with. But that's neither here nor there. So in this kit, um, you got your decals. It's got the Lightning, the White Stripes, Kenworth. They're nice and sharp, but I've also going to do something a little different with this one, which I've already started. Like I said, I started this after the first year. I got a couple uh, custom American Eagle flag decals that I'm going to work on putting on this truck uh, because this truck is uh, my Ukrainian tribute, tribute truck. So that's kind of going with that. Um, directions are real easy. Typical Ravel tells you the color code on the front, tells you what it is. What to paint everything um i kind of do some of my own stuff because i like the more realistic everyone's like dependent on the box you know but i'm doing my own thing because that's what i like to do um also i would when i said about the decals i've been working on making some like trucking magazines that go inside the sleeper something that you would find in a regular like semi something you would find and believe it or not no truck is complete at least with a sleeper on it without the playboy magazine and the cool thing about this is it's all scaled down and it's written in ukrainian which is pretty awesome. So that'll tie into the theme really nice. Um, I got some other, oh, these are my bumper stickers. Can't really read them too well. I might rescale them, but it's called uh, uh, My Driving Scares Me Too. It's just kind of something that I thought would be kind of like a cool one. It's like, hey, there's a loose nut behind the wheel. Um, and since it's a Ukraine, build um basically it's going to say glory ukraine across the back so that's what that means it's actually written in ukraine so i got some of the tree like i said i've been painting pieces like i said it's been a work in progress since like the beginning of the year um here's all the chrome i mean it's not bad i might um clean up some of it and actually paint it. I haven't gotten that far because I want to try to make sure that this truck looks real and used, but also want to try to keep it as uh, like kind of like uh, it's a used truck, but it looks good because a lot of us truckers like to make sure our rigs look in top shape because that's what a lot of people see. And it's part of your job. You take pride in your work is like with everything else. So all right so here's the paint scheme it's a uh, blue metallic with yellow sun yellow actually is the color yellow so that's how it is it's like two-tone it's got your typical kenworth uh two-tone fenders um i did all this with paint um spray can on the body all the other uh um details were done by brush um now that uh glory ukraine decal is going to go across the back here when i get done with it so i'm going to try to make that i mean i do have some other paper that i'm going to try i don't want to spend the money on uh, wet transfer decal because well you know but the detail um uh, yeah the details in the interior aren't too bad um i decided to go with a nice uh brown leather like a like a saddle leather and like a kind of wood grain interior kind of um got a little carpet back here which is basically just like a microfiber rag that i cut through in there and glued down you know i got the bed 
extra hat, got a driver. I'm in the process of making, uh, taking some sprue and making an a panger shifter. So, um, that'll be pretty cool. I just got to make sure I get the measurement right so that it looks good. Um, here's a frame. I got the frame mostly done. I haven't put any wheels on it yet. Um, but it's the same blue. It's got the airbag suspension, um, fairly detailed. I painted it uh, flat rubber so that it looks like rubber. And like I said, the way I'm trying to go is the used look, but it's, you know, a work truck. I got the engine. I know it's all supposed to be cat yellow, but I decided to put some hop up parts on. I still got to give it an oil bath, finish the belts. Um, I got some more chrome here, so like the mirrors, I'll probably just keep them. Like I said, I don't know what I want to do with the other one. If I want to do something with like a body color, some more uh, fenders, got them already pre-weathered, uh, drive shafts, exhaust pipe or down pipe, um, the air cleaner intake, um, got the wheels. I got to finish putting them together. Um, I've also got the dash, which it's not too bad, but I got to try to get something a little better, some better brushes. Some of the brushes I've been using are older than, uh, yeah, they're probably like 10, 15 years old. They're uh, pretty old, but anyway, I mean, that's not a whole lot. It's coming along nice so far. I mean, I haven't had any major fitment issues with this kit, but at the same time, I also haven't extensively been working on it. I've been trying to just keep up with other stuff because, like I said, life gets in the way. I enjoy motorcycles. I'm out on a motorcycle when it's nice out, so most of the time this is uh, like a winter project for me, something that... I do have snowmobiles too, so that's another thing. Uh, normally in the winter time, I'm on a sled or doing something, but you know, you gotta gotta do something. You know, keep yourself occupied. So this year, like I said, uh, you know, let you know how it goes together. I know it wasn't an unboxing, but just kind of a semi-general review on the kit itself. Uh, so probably in the next video, I will uh, show you uh, the other model that I just picked up uh, February, back in April. So uh, yeah, April 2020, I'll show you the next model. And uh, yeah, well, y'all have fun. I'm going to try to jam a bunch of these together and uh, yeah, try to keep them under 10 minutes. Y'all have fun and uh, keep out there modeling. This is GI Mechanic. See ya.